Hi everyone, it's Chris, aka Tofcam, and today I have a brand overview video for you for the brand Clur. This video feels like it's been like years in the making. Um, I was scrolling through my Instagram DMs and I realized that I've been in communication with uh, Leslie Thornton, the brand founder, since late 2016. And I've been fortunate enough to test uh, a lot of the products that she's been developing over the years in that time. So I'll actually put a little picture up of the some of the lab samples that she sent me. I think this was December 2016 and have been able to like give her feedback and it's been very cool. This video is sponsored by Clur and it's actually my first skincare brand sponsored video. The biggest request that Leslie had in doing this video was that my opinions and my reviews on the products are as honest and and uh, transparent as possible. She said, you know, if there's a product you don't like, say it, like, don't be shy. Luckily, I feel like this is a line that I genuinely feel really good about kind of all around, but I'll definitely give you my, uh, some more details as we get into the product review portion. And uh, a new product that I will be sort of premiering here. So yeah, without any further ado, let's go ahead and dive in. So what is Clur? Clur is a, an eco-inclusive and eco-conscious skincare brand founded by Leslie Thornton. And Leslie has a really interesting background in beauty. She has worked as a trainer for companies like Estee Lauder back when they were really acquiring a lot of new kind of interesting brands. She's also uh, a licensed esthetician. I think she said she got her license in, in 2010. So over 10 years at this point. And she has had clients and had her own facial studio. And she's also worked as on-air talent for the TLC network. After aesthetics school started seeing and treating clients, she was finding that it was hard for her to stick to one specific brand in terms of back bar, products that are kind of salon size that estheticians will use during a, a facial treatment. She would like, you know, a cleanser from one brand, a vitamin C from the other brand, an eye cream from the other. There wasn't one brand that kind of completely encompassed her entire skincare ethos. So eventually she found herself spending more time on formulation and she was able to, to test the products on her clients in the treatment room and then send them home with samples so that they could kind of report back on their progress and how the products worked for them. She was able to establish connections and network relationships with manufacturers and she was able to find someone who would work with her being self-funded and doing things on a smaller scale in smaller batches. The products started getting really great reception from her clients and some of them started to leave LA, so she needed a website that she could basically ship the products from. So once that was up, eventually she caught the attention of Urban Outfitters. They were really trying to amp up their beauty offerings at that time. She became really successful, became one of the top skincare brands that was selling at Urban. And at the time, it was actually the first black owned skincare brand in Urban Outfitters. And Leslie has said in some podcasts that she's not even sure that the brand was aware that she was a black founder because she didn't really put a lot of her face into the messaging because unfortunately the experience up until that point was whiteness was the way to guarantee that your products would sell is you know to highlight white models or white brand founders the fact that there was no black experience reflected in the beauty marketing that existed at the time and still is kind of lacking and that kind of gap in the market and that lack of representation really drove her to develop the brand and to do it her way. This is a brand that's completely self-funded. She hasn't taken any outside funding. And for her, she said that if she were to do that, she would no longer be a black owned brand. And, and that's really important to her, have the brand be exactly what she wants it to be, which is so admirable and it's gotta be hard to do for anyone, but especially a black woman in the beauty industry. I mean, it's the start of a shift, but I still feel like there's a long way to go for you know, complete and equal representation and inclusivity in the beauty space for people of color, especially black people and black women and black, queer, transgender and non-binary people as well. Eventually she started to see that there was this huge boom of skincare brands launching and products that were really all about the aesthetics. So the packaging, the names, the visual side of it. So she decided it was either late 2016 or early 2017 to pull out of all 
Urban Outfitters stores and work on reformulating and redesigning the brand. Fast forward to about January 2019 and the brand launches with a small collection of SKUs. So in about two years time, she really tweaked all of the minute details for the products, the packaging, the website, the branding. So in between leaving Urban and relaunching Clur 2.0 in January 2019, that's when I discovered the brand and started talking to her. We both had a lot of the same interests. We both love cars, uh, especially like sort of vintage cars. We both have like a soft spot for like Jeep Grand Cherokees from the early 90s. And I really think you can tell just how much time and effort and energy is put into this brand as a whole. So the products are made in the United States and they're made using locally sourced materials, whether that's ingredients, packaging, outer packaging. The glass bottles are um, actually stock packaging, which means that new custom packaging doesn't need to be designed in order to make the product. The actual cartons are also locally sourced and they are made from renewable ag agricultural fibers. So you can actually see there's like little bits of pulp kind of worked in. The inks are plant-based here on the packaging. This is totally recyclable. And Leslie said the big thing for her with keeping everything local is it also helps maintain freshness. If the product is not sitting in a warehouse for 12 months at a time and it can be produced, put into the warehouse and immediately sent out. And Leslie said that you can't discuss sustainability without talking about representation and inclusivity and, and issues that affect black and brown communities, especially in the United States. So this is really a brand that's not just talking the talk, but they're also walking the walk. They are very transparent about their ethics and they do as much as they can to, to operate on those levels. There's also such a strong emphasis on education behind the brand, whether that's ingredient knowledge. A lot of times it's not just one ingredient, it's how these two or three ingredients will work together. The brand also does a great job of highlighting social and political issues that are affecting the country and the world uh, and really bringing light to inequities in our society, whether that's environmental racism, people who experience food insecurity. And Leslie actually volunteered for hurricane relief in New Orleans after Katrina hit and was doing things like community outreach programs. So teaching them how to grow their own food, how to depend on other people in the community. That element of the brand is actually you can kind of trace it back to those roots of, of her volunteering in uh, New Orleans. For her, it's really a study on mindfulness and being aware of the products that you're using, the brands you're supporting, the ingredients that you're putting onto your skin. Some of them can be potentially irritating or stripping or drying, but she's definitely not uh, anti-clinicals, you know? She's very proud of the fact that like, the Stellar Restoration, for example, blends salicylic acid, retinoid, uh, and sulfur with things like Arnica and Dandelion and Centella Asiatica. In theory, most everything is ideal for all skin types. There's options for skin type to skin type or, or skin condition to skin condition. But yeah, in general, I feel like these are products that will work for most, most people. Let's go ahead and dive into each individual product. I'll talk about the texture, the skin types that it would be good for and uh, scent if applicable. So let's start with Gentle Matter, which is their daily moisture cleanser. My favorite way to use this is actually as like a morning cleanse because it's so refreshing. Uh, it's a pretty low foam product, which I think makes it suitable for pretty much all skin types. This is a gel consistency on its own, but you can mix it with a plain carrier oil like jojoba or argan to transform it into a creamy cleanser. So if you want to use it to remove makeup, that'll give it a little bit extra kind of slip. There is a touch of papaya extract in here, so you do get a very, very, very light, I wouldn't even call it a resurfacing feel, but like it just kind of refines your skin a little bit. But ultimately, this is just like the ideal daily balanced refreshing cleanser. And it comes actually packaged like this. This is the body oil, but it's the same um, component. And it actually comes in like a kind of pour spout like this. Within the box, you also get a pump you can see it's a very, very, very low, mild lather. And even when I add water, froth is staying quite low. And I think that's what prevents stripping and drying your skin out. And this is said to be pH between 5.3 and 5.7. So a little bit acidic, very considerate of your skin's natural pH. 
So some uh, ingredient call outs, we've got dandelion extract, olive oil, jojoba oil, we've got green tea, white tea, uh, ginkgo biloba, centella asiatica, some chamomile, some coconut milk powder, which gives it like a, a slight translucency. It's definitely almost a clear gel, but there's a, a touch of like something in there. This is the type of product that really takes the guesswork out of cleansing. Like it's the type of thing that I would just leave by my sink just to use without thinking about it. And this is definitely an example of one of those no brainer daily essentials. Next we have skin soil, which is an exfoliating grain. It's called a multi-use additive. So it's a blend of very mild physical exfoliating granules, but also a ton of antioxidants in powder form. So cranberry seed powder, MSM powder, green tea powder, rosehip seeds, uh, some papaya enzyme powder. So this is the type of product that can be mixed with any type of cleansing product that you want to create basically a physical exfoliant. I bet I kind of go back and forth with phys physical exfoliants. I'm kind of getting back into them again. It's like just like a once or twice weekly kind of boost. And the other thing I like is that it's so, so, so gentle. You know, you think exfoliating grains, your mind might go back to some like really harsh, like salt-based kind of buffing grains. It's not the case with this at all. So I'll just show you what it looks like in my palm. It's like a light kind of sandy look, although the texture feels a lot softer than that. It almost feels like really fine beach sand, like not granular or grainy at all, but there's a little bit of texture. And then you would just mix that with your cleanser. And I'll show you, it just immediately transforms into this like, not quite a paste because my ratio of cleanser to grains is like, I definitely use more cleanser than I do grains, but you do get like a little bit of like grit going. So then when I add a little bit of water, this just rinses clean immediately, doesn't leave, like there's no waxy beads left behind, there's no little bits, and yet your skin feels really smooth and soft and like you haven't obliterated it. This isn't a product that I was super gravitating towards when it first launched. And to be honest, it's still like my least favorite product out of the range. Like there are other products that I would definitely want to pick up before this, but I appreciate that this exists and it is in the grand scheme of things quite a unique product. So next is the Supreme Seed uh, Delicate Purification Mask. If you like chocolate scents, it just has that delicious, rich, sumptuous cocoa butter scent for lack of a better word. But what's nice about this is it's not just a deep cleansing clay mask. Like there's a ton of other great things in it. So this has, like I said, the cacao butter, great uh, conditioning the skin, panthenol or vitamin B5. There are kaolin and bentonite clays, some papaya extract, and then you have your lactic acid and your malic acid to give a gentle resurfacing effect. Also to kind of help just the radiance of your skin overall. Then there's sea kelp, which is nice and hydrating. Pumpkin extract, which has a nice um, amount of natural vitamins. And then your oils like rice bran, grape seed, and safflower, which are all very on the lighter side and tend to be pretty well tolerated. They suggest five to 10 minutes, one to two times per week, and that a slight tingling sensation will occur. I do definitely notice like a slight bit of tingle, but for me, I can leave it on even up to 15 minutes and it's fine. Like it doesn't over exfoliate it. Start small, just try it for a quick five minutes and see how your skin handles it. Yeah, in my experience, I can do it a little bit more than 10 minutes and it's fine. And I'll show you what happens if you add a little bit of water it does kind of thin out and become a lot easier to remove. And even just doing that, like my skin feels exfoliated and smoothed. Um, not dry, not uncomfortable. There's no like clay-like residue. Yeah, it's it's smoothing. It's It gives your skin some suppleness while also drawing out impurities, gunk, pollutants in your skin, things like that. And I think, you know, if you were just gonna pick one mask, something like this is nice because it is doing a little bit of everything. The Symmetry Fluid Anti-Pollution uh, Daily Serum. 
So this would be ideal for all skin types, but especially someone who lives in a metropolitan area, whether that's a city or just right outside the city, anywhere where there's uh, extra concern for pollutants and environmental aggressors. Uh, this has like literally every antioxidant in it that you could want. And it's everything from your research backed clinicals, like your vitamin C, astaxanthin, fulvic acid, glutathione, but then you also have your antioxidant rich plant extracts. So like your grape seed, berry extracts, you've got cranberry, blueberry, and chisandra. You've got red algae, moisturizing ingredients like olive squalane, tamarind, and camellia oil. So let me show you the texture. Um, it has a really light watery consistency and I'm gonna show you it's quite runny. See it runs right down. Um, and so when you blend it into the skin it's just like <laughs> absorb straight in. There's like a little bit of a moisturized feeling afterwards, but it's not greasy. It's actually quite a spreadable product. The packaging says to use two to three pumps. I find I can get away with just using one to one and a half. Scent wise, it's very, very mild. It's, it's it just sort of smells like skincare with some plant extracts in it. And this is the perfect thing to pair with your sunscreen because antioxidants help your sunscreen work even better. So your sunscreen's not having to work double time. And this product, they actually make two sizes of the standard one ounce and then a 1.7 deluxe size for people who are big fans of it. It's definitely the serum that I would recommend if someone wasn't sure where to start and they were just looking for a good serum, you know, point blank. So that's the Symmetry Fluid. Next, we move into Immersion, which is their quintessential hydration serum concentrate, dehydrated skin, which can affect all skin types. But if you are dehydrated and you have combination to oily skin and you're looking for deep kind of skin quenching hydration, this is definitely one worth checking out. Leaves almost no surface kind of slip behind, like it literally absorbs into the skin. For me, having slightly drier skin, I prefer something with like a slight bit more surface slip, which is maybe why I like the Symmetry Fluid so much, because it's a little bit more moisturizing. It's literally brimming with humectin. So you've got your aloe vera, your multi-weight hyaluronic acid. So your hydrolyzed, which is a chain of um, hyaluronic acid that's been chopped up. You have your regular uh, good old hyaluronic acid. You have your sodium hyaluronate, which is the salt form of hyaluronic. It's a lower weight and it can be absorbed into the skin a little bit better. You also have your beta-glucan, sodium PCA, panthenol, which is vitamin B5, a really great conditioning agent. Your niacinamide, which is vitamin B3, stimulates ceramide synthesis to fortify your skin barrier, make it stronger, bouncier, and also help improve the look of uh, enlarged pores over time. There's reishi, elderflower, peptides, I believe in the form of matrixyl. It's literally everything you could want in like a super light, I mean, I just can't even feel it. Like my skin feels hydrated, but like there's just no surface residue at all. I love a good hydration serum, but I just feel like the texture is just for someone whose skin is a little bit uh, oilier than mine is, um, or who probably would like the texture a little bit more than I do. we have Stellar Restoration, which is their nighttime clarifying treatment. So not only does it tackle, you know, your quote unquote signs of aging, things like fine lines, hyperpigmentation, etc., but also people who are blemish prone. It's kind of milky, but you can see definitely, definitely runny and very, very light. Maybe it does have like a little bit of more surface moisture than the immersion, but I would actually say it has a pretty velvety flat finish. It's actually a blend of vitamins. It's vitamin A, vitamin B3, and vitamin C. And then you have your salicylic acid, your sulfur, your MSM, your things like tea tree, willow bark, licorice root, echinacea. Uh, this one does have a little bit of scent to it. It's a little bit of a tea tree, slightly sulfur. It smells so spa-like to me. I love anything kind of uh, astringent like that. But yeah, so this would be like the ideal one-two punch if you were wanting to tackle things like blemishes and clogged pores and things like the look of fine lines and hyperpigmentation and loss of firmness all in one, one fell swoop, essentially. So next in the treatment realm is their new Sculpture A Overnight Enrichment Cream. So this is the, the newest Clur product. It is launching uh, March the 28th, which is a Monday. 
And this is actually a product I've been lucky enough to be quietly testing since October. Here's my little jar that Leslie gave me. When I started using this, I just, my skin responded so well. So the first thing I noticed is it felt incredibly great to apply like the texture is beautiful got a moderate weight like a medium weight to it to me it's like it's just like the ideal kind of night cream consistency where it feels really nourishing and kind of emollient maybe has like a, a slightly buttery finish i would say but the the thing that i was really noticing is it really made my skin feel significantly smoother especially on my forehead yeah i've been very restrictive with the other retinoids i've been testing just because this video has been in the works for so long i want to really give a dedicated opinion and review and i think it might be one of my very favorite clear products and i'll be honest i have tried moisturizers or creams with retinoids in them over the years and they've been kind of hit or miss so like this truly feels like a retinoid serum that's been added into a cream. It's another one of those kind of everything you could need in one product. So it has liposomal ret uh, retinol, which is a little bit better tolerated by the skin because it has that fatty component to it. Plum seed oil, which is an amazing source of antioxidants. Vitamin B5 or panthenol. MSM, uh, Matrixyl 3000, Reishi Mushroom, Centella Asiatica, Turmeric, Carrot Seed Oil, Blueberry Seed Oil. Very mild scent, it just smells like plant extracts, like maybe a little mushroomy, kind of nice. This is definitely for someone who has normal to dry or, or dry skin and is looking for a nighttime retinoid product that has some moisture to it. I also think this is great for someone who maybe has more of a streamlined skincare routine and just wants to like cleanse tone moisturize and go to bed this could kind of act as like your treatment and your moisturizer in one i definitely think the stellar restoration is better for blemish prone or kind of combination oily skin uh, just to see what would happen i did layer these two and i don't recommend it because i think they're both pretty strong on their own my skin just definitely felt really dry the following morning just just so you know if you do layer them it is quite dry unseasonal kind which is the most recent product to have launched that doesn't include the new night cream and this is the essential lipid replenishment oil and leslie has actually sent me a few studies that she's read on the elements of our skin that deplete the most with age and with exposure to pollution and they found that vitamin e and coq10 in particular were the two that were really extremely depleted and vitamin c as well so this is actually formulated with correct ratios of each of those ingredients to, to serve as like a form of replenishment and coq10 being an essential enzyme for skin health. It's like our, our skin's natural defense against pollution, but it does deplete over time, so you do want to replenish it topically. And then you have your vitamin E, which is a fantastic source of antioxidants, uh, very nourishing and kind of gentle on the skin as well. And then your vitamin C. Usually what I'll do is I'll do my cleanser, toner, serum, and moisturizer. And then as my moisturizer is absorbing, I'll just take a few drops in my palms and just press it on top of my skin and that creates like a really nice silky layer. I have tried layering the Sculpture A with the Unseasonal Kind and it's really nice. This just works so well with any other moisturizer that I have and this is just such a stellar product on its own. But um, it's very silky, it's on the lighter side. It's almost a little bit velvety. And yeah, so this, like I said, it has correct ratios of CoQ10, vitamin E, and vitamin C. You also have your grape seed, your strawberry, your cranberry, your prickly pear, and then a little avocado and some geranium essential oil as well. But I wouldn't say it's a strong geranium scent at all. And this is actually something that is not even recommended to be used daily, although you probably could, and I don't think it would, it would cause any issues. But this is something that's really more to be used two to three times a week as like a restorative treatment. Vitamins and lipids and enzymes. Okay, so that's uh, sort of it in the daily treatment category. Last but not least, we have maybe one of the first products from the brand that I fell in love with, and it is their Elements of Comfort uh, Aromatic Body Oil. I mean, first of all, how chic is that? Just like the cleanser, this one does come with its own separate pump. 
This is an example of one of those true multi-purpose oils. It's designed to be used from the neck down. Uh, it's, it's way too fragrant to be used on the face. And Leslie talks about it being the perfect balance between skincare. You know, you have your hemp oil, your avocado oil, your grapeseed oil, but then you also have your um, neroli, your Bulgarian rose, your lavender, your citrus. So it smells like a dream come true, but it also feels really nice on the skin. This arm is actually craving a little bit of oil. Ah, it smells so good. And then you would just, oof. It's satiny, it's silky, feels really nourishing. And yeah, it's, it's, it's a nice blend of oils. There's tamanu, there's pumpkin, there's evening primrose, apricot kernel, all the good stuff. Definitely wear this as like a, just a light perfume. Like it would give you enough fragrance to kind of lightly scent your body. My favorite way actually to use it is in my hair. It gives like the right amount of shine. It's heavy enough to kind of moisturize my hair, which is on the thicker, kind of coarser side, but it doesn't leave it totally weighed down. Like, I already have a little bit of um, oil in my hair, but I, I'll just apply a little bit more. Oh, it smells so good. Yeah, you can see it just gives like a nice bit of sheen, which, you know, to be fair, most oils will give your hair a nice sheen, but finding the right weight of oil, the right scent, the right blend, I, th I think can make a big difference. And, and because it has that really nice scent to it, I kind of catch like a whiff of it throughout the day. But you can also use it as like a bath oil. Just take a few pumps under running water and it'll add some nourishment to your bath. You can use it on clean skin as like a nice moisturizing body oil. Mix it with your unscented body lotion for a nice scented boost, some extra moisture. Really the only way you wouldn't want to use it is directly on your face. Look at that shine. Ooh. So I believe that's everything. Those are all the products in the range. If I had to pick a top three, number one, just because it's the most universally appealing, Gentle Matter, I just feel like it's, if you just need a good daily cleanser, this is it, you know? The Symmetry Fluid, just cause I think it's one of the other kind of universally appealing type of products where most people can use it and get the benefits and see the results. I love, love, love Elements of Comfort, I do, but the Sculpture A Cream for me is just, like I don't even wanna take it out of the box cause it's just so precious to me, but it's really, really, really good. And again, like I said, I'm the first person to not put a lot of stock into a moisturizer with a retinoid in it. But again, this truly feels like a treatment housed in a cream. Elements of comfort, very, very, very close behind in fourth place, but mm, even that's hard to do. And yeah, I just, I, again, I feel very lucky to have been able to experience development process over the years. And uh, it's a brand that I truly believe in. I love the products. Each one is just individually so good that I'm happy to recommend the products, you know? Uh, and Leslie, the founder, is just dedicated and passionate and knowledgeable, just well-researched. You can tell, you can tell that this is a labor of love and that the products are high performance, you know, and effective. So yeah, I think that's everything. Definitely check out uh, Clur's website, clur.co. Um, also their Instagram, which is also clur.co. Just great sources of information. The Instagram in particular is just a, a, just a great source just to be tapped into, whether you're interested in, in skincare products or not. So yeah, thank you so much to Leslie for your partnership on this video, for sharing your expertise. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, don't hesitate to leave them in the comments. And thank you for being really cool about this being a sponsored video. I, I wouldn't have done it if it, was if it wasn't a brand that I truly believed in. This isn't just something that kind of came up overnight. It's been sort of, we've been talking about it for about a year now. So it feels really good. It feels like the right partnership. Um, I'm very happy to share the brand story and all of my thoughts and opinions on the products. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't. It really helps me out. And until my next video, I will talk to you very soon. Bye.